Hello guys, I wanted to show you how I tweak Logic X when you first get it. There's a couple of things I like to do. So, let's go ahead. When you start Logic X, this will show up. Here we can have the different templates. So I go for empty project. Choose. And here it looks kind of like GarageBand. So I go create. So I go to the audio preferences. I go to advanced settings. So here we're going to check out this box. And also these. Okay. So now you have turned on every advanced settings on Logic X. So it's no longer looking like uh, GarageBand. And I also do a tweak here, the startup action. I like to have do nothing. So here you can choose what you want, but I like to have it do nothing because I do different things every time I open uh, Logic. So the third thing I want to show you is the metering in Logic. So this is uh, the intro music. Um, if you have a look at my metering, when I hit play. So they go almost up in the yellow. Um, this is how I like to have my mix, how I do it. But when you turn on Logic for the first time, this is not a default setting. So you have a setting in a display and mixer. So if you go to the scale, exponential uh, is default setting with Logic. And now you can see what happened with my metering. So visually, it feels very low volume. Maybe you want to turn up the volume because it uh, doesn't look right. So that's why I have it on sectional dB linear. Now see what happens. So the meter is much better. So this will help me having a healthy level throughout the mix. Number five is this custom bar. I like to have a couple of things uh, always checked. Uh, I like to have the low latency mode uh, if I need to uh, record something and there's a lot of heavy plugins on. Uh, I like to have the pre-fader metering so I see the signal before it goes into the plugins. I like to have auto punch. Uh, that's when I record musicians so I can punch them in and so we don't have to record the whole track every time. So that I think is the settings I like to have there. And number six, I like to have capture record. Capture record is if I play MIDI and just a rehearsal and then I did it right when I rehearsal, I can hit capture recording and Logic actually records what you did when you played. And also I like to go to plugin manager because now you can reorder your plugins the way you like it. So I have my own folders with my own plugins that I like to use. So when I go to plugins, I have two favorites and also those I use the most. So this is what I like and other people have a lot of other key commands. I also did uh, use a lot of own key commands before, but now I use more default logic key commands because I work in other studios too. So what I know has to work everywhere. So please comment under if you know some hack or tweak that I should use. So I hope you like it. Please subscribe and I see you in another video.